Hi, I'm Emily Thomas, and I developed the app for the Jefferson County Long-Term Relief Group. They use this app to alert their county members of disaster information. They use it to help people prepare for before a disaster, what to do after a disaster. It also has links to all of the county resources that they can have access to to prepare or to contact people in case of emergency. So there's a lot of cool things that this app does. This um, group really had a great idea of how they wanted the app to work before they even came to me. So, so much of this credit goes directly to that group. Uh, Michelle is my contact person there. She has just been wonderful to work with, so organized. And her um, working with me has really developed this app into what it is today. I just did kind of the organization stuff behind the scenes, setting it up, making it into reality. So today I wanna to share with you what that app looks like, give you an overview, tell you why we built this app on Wix, give you the nitty gritty details of all of the behind the scenes stuff you need to have done before this app is going to be a possibility, tell you a little bit about the monthly cost of it on Wix, things like that. So I'm just gonna take you step by step through that. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you are interested in hiring me to build one of these apps for you, I would love it. So um, I'm gonna hop right in, give you an overview. And then if you're looking to work together on this project, I love it. I'm taking on two website or app designs a month. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So you can see here that the app is featured in the Apple store. It would also be featured in the Google Play store as well. I've already downloaded, so let's just click open. Here is the home screen. Above here, we have the little login icon on the top right hand, left hand corner. That's where someone would create an account and get started. The right hand corner shows the notification bell. So once I'm logged in, I would see any of my notifications there. We've got the home banner. We've got county info. This takes us to a page of all of the different um, offices that serve the county and how they can help. So if someone would click on one of these, it would take them to a page that would lead them to either call, visit the website or the Facebook page. You can link any of these items to places on your website or also PDFs or YouTube videos. Let's go back to the homepage before disaster. We've got lots of different options here. Feel free to download this app and look around. Again, all of those different buttons go to different pieces of information that would be useful for that category. Back to the homepage after disaster. All of this information is necessary. Next steps for moments following a disaster. So you can look through all of that here. Um, Again, there's PDFs, there's videos, there's lots of different types of information here. Alerts, this would be where you could see like the most recent alerts and updates that links directly to their website. Report home damages, that links to a form as well. And then a privacy policy. So what's really cool about this app too is that you can send notifications out to your users. So if they have logged into your app, they can click turn on notifications and then they will receive notifications as you send them. It's very easy to send notifications. You would switch over to your Wix owner app, which I will show you how to use that in the future if we work together. But here you can see all of the push notifications that they have sent out. If we click the add button, you can create your notification here select if you want it to go to a specific screen and then send it out. So I use Wix to build websites because that's what I'm an expert in. There's lots of different ways to build websites, but what I really love about Wix is that they recently came out with the opportunity to build a branded app. And so basically you build your app using their particular layout and design process. They facilitate taking it to each of the Apple and Google stores so that it's available. You have to do some work behind the scenes to set up your account and such, but they make it very simple relatively to have a branded app in the App Store. Then your users can search for you in the App Store or the Google Play Store, download the app, and you have your very own fully branded app experience. It is awesome. When Wix says branded, this just means that it doesn't say Wix anywhere on your app. It just says your business name. It has your logo as the little icon, things like that. You are slightly limited to their layout, which in my opinion is absolutely fine because as a designer, I know that if I were to 
create an app or hire someone else to make an app that's going to be very intricate. That being said, hiring someone to fully build a custom app and not using something like Wix as, you know, the layout helper or the guide, it's going to cost like $10,000. It's crazy. I've looked into it and it's just not a possibility for so many people. So with Wix, you have um, a very simple, simple, relatively simple setup. You know, with someone like me, it can go fairly quickly. And then from there, I can actually train you or someone on your staff to make the updates. Wix is also great about instantly pumping out those updates. So you make a change, boom, that update is live on your app. I've checked it, it works, it's great. Wix is also the middleman between you and Apple and Google, and they help make your app work in those stores. If something comes up, they send you an email, says, hey, something's not working with your app, you need to read these. this new privacy policy has been updated, something like that. You work through the steps, Wix helps you check off the boxes and they resubmit your app for approval. It's extremely smooth. Okay, the not fun stuff to talk about is, you know, the money stuff, right? What does this cost? So you will have to pay a fee to Apple every single year to set up your Apple developer account. That's going to be like $100 a year. Again, it could change without me knowing or whatever. So, but right now it's $100 a year. With Google, it's $100 lifetime, so there's no renewal in Google Play Store. When it comes to Wix, they have several different options for packages of monthly payments that you can use to utilize their service. I will put up a screenshot here and show you what all those include. Okay, so when it comes to Wix pricing, here is a look at what we have. Here is the basic standard and advanced. Basic starts at $99 a month. This is all billed yearly. If you want to go month to month, then you're looking at a higher cost. The two, maybe three biggest differences to look at would be here, the push notifications. How many people are on your list or how many push notifications do you think you're going to be sending out? If you already have like, I don't know, 800 to 1,000 people on your list, then you're definitely going to at least need to do this $5,000 a month push notification. However my rule of thumb, go with the cheapest and upgrade when needed, right? The other thing is you cannot accept payments or sell items on the basic app. However, with the Jefferson County app that I created, we just linked a button on their app to their donation page and that worked great. So they didn't have to have, you know, the increased membership right away. So it's up to you. Okay. So what does this setup process actually look like? If you hired me today to build your app, what's this going to look like? First of all, every Wix app has to be connected to a Wix website. So I know some of you may already have a website. Some of you may not have a website. So I'm going to talk to you about each one of those options and explain further. Let's start with, if you don't have a website, if you don't have a website, you're wanting an app, this is the perfect time to do both. So I'd be happy to build you a website in Wix if you're interested. And then from there, we would build your app. And your app is not like a, a, rep like a perfect copy of your website or anything. It's totally standalone. But the app has to be tied to a website. And so that's just kind of how it works. You have to pay separately for your Wix website. I can quote you, you know, what it would be to design it and set it up for you, but it's going to be about 20 to $25 a month just to have that website hosted and built and secured on Wix. That is in addition to the payment that you'll be making for the monthly app hosting, I guess you could say. Okay, so that is how it's going to work if you don't have a website. Again, if you don't have a website, I'll build you one. You have to have a website first. And then we'll move on to, you know, building the app. Secondly, if you already have a website and you don't want to change it, you don't want to update it or anything, what we can do is we can build you like a, a behind the scenes website. So this would be one that you don't promote. This would be like, you could call it, you know, jeffersoncountyapp.com or something like that. 
you wouldn't promote it, but behind the scenes, it can store all of the information needed for your app. That's a way we could do it. Um, and you know, thirdly, as I'm talking through this right now, I'm thinking if you have a web or if you don't want a website at all, and you just want an app, maybe we can do it that way too, where we just, you know, have a domain that's kind of obscure and that you don't share with anyone. Just an idea. We can talk more about that. Everybody has um, different needs for that. Okay, so if you want to hire me to build your app, I would love to build it for you. I love building apps. It's like such a fun puzzle to put together and it's fun to see it actually work and do its job for people. So what I recommend, one, I have a form on my website. So if you go to thewixcollective.com slash app request, there is a form on there built specifically for someone inquire, inquiring about an app. I'm gonna ask you some really important details and then from there we can schedule a call to talk one-on-one. -on -one. I would love to talk with you, make sure that I have all my ducks in a row before I give you an estimate. So, and again, I take on two, maybe three projects like this a month and because I really like to focus on doing it right and getting it done as quickly as possible. And so if I take on a lot of projects, the timelines get drawn out and so, I like to work with people who are very motivated to get something done, like their timeline and their turnaround time is very short because then I get to like jump in, really focus on your project, get it done, get it done right, launch it, the end, right? And so hop in over there, fill out that form and I'll get back to you with some meeting days. Another question that people might have is how long does it take to build an app? So I wish you were just relying on, you know, you and I to get our jobs done. But unfortunately, we are going to be waiting on Apple and Google to approve our app. So how this works, you come to me, we fill out the form, we have our one-on-one -on -one discussion, and then from there I set an estimate. If you accept the estimate and the terms, I'll get started right away on your app. It would probably take me about two weeks to get an app fully built for you to look at. Once you approve that, we will submit it to Apple and to Google. And then once they approve it, it goes live in the store. Also, there is a piece where you're going to have to sign up for the Apple and Google developer accounts. That might take a couple days, just depending on what kind of files and information they're going to need. So keep that in mind. I wish that I could say, and I think if everything went swimmingly one month, like, one month would be perfection for getting something like this launched. But let's just say two, just to be safe. And then again, you know, things pop up, but I would like, I don't want you to be waiting on me. Let's just work together and then we'll just wait on Google and Apple to approve. That's, that's my standard process. So again, I'd love to work with you. Um, reach out to me. I'd love to chat. Thank you so much for taking the time to walk through this video with me. And I hope this is helpful. I'll talk to you soon.